Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to create a random idle animation that will play for your character in your game. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So as you can see, we've got different random idle animations here. The animations don't look amazing, really sorry for that, it's just because these are just animations that I very quickly got off of Mixamo. So some of the bones don't match perfectly, which is why when I very quickly retargeted it, it didn't look amazing. So sorry about that, but it's not really how they look, that's not the problem because you probably won't be using these animations anyway because they don't all match that well. I've just picked them just to show it working and we're going to be going over the functionality of the code today so we can have it working so when you're idle, you're going to have a random idle animation so it's not going to look too repetitive. So let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So this is actually very, very easy to do. All I did was I imported my animations and then retargeted them over to the correct skeleton. And again, I got my animations from mixmo.com. Then you're going to want to open up your animation blueprint. So for me, that's characters, mannequins, animations, and then ABP Manny. Now, once you're in here, you're going to want to go to the anim graph and then open up the state machine. For me, it's locomotion, but for you, it might be main states or whatever it is. But we're going to open up the state machine and we want to go into our idle state here. Now, if you don't have an idle state, you just have idle, walk, and run all in the same one, you're going to want to make sure that you do separate those. So you can just create a new state and put your idle animation in there and then have it go from should move and should not move, obviously, into walk, run. If you don't have this already set up, then I'm not going to go over that in today's video. I do have another video where I go over how to create this in more detail. But if we open up our idle state, we're going to delete any idle animation we already have in here. And instead, what we're going to use is something called a random sequence player. In here we can input multiple animations and have those be the ones that will play randomly. So let's add in our array elements here. I've got five animations I want to use so I'm going to add in five elements here. Then we can open up these and add in the animation. So I'm going to go to where they are for me which is idle animations, new and then I've got mine here. So I'm going to use happy idle first. Now there are many different things you can change in here. For example, the chance to play, I like to just leave this as a 1, but if you have one main animation which you want to play the most, so maybe you have one main idle animation, you can put this in here and maybe have chance to play be 2 instead of 1. I'm just going to leave them all the same for the purpose of the video. Then you can change the min and max loop count. So if you want this main animation to play, not have more of a chance, but just to play more, you can have the minimum be 2, the maximum be 5. So that means this animation will play a minimum of two times and a maximum of five times before moving on to the next animation. Again, I'm just going to leave these at zero. And then you can also change the play rate as well. So we can change this to two and five as well, which means the minimum play speed will be twice the normal and the maximum will be five times. Or you can do this the other way. You can go 0.2 and 0.5. So it's going to be 20% of the normal or 50%. Once again, I'm just going to leave these as normal. And then what we can also do is go down to blend in here and change the blend time. Now this you may want to actually focus a little bit more on with each animation. You might be thinking, oh well I just want them all to be the same, have the same amount, all of that. So I'll leave all the settings as default. The blend in you might want to actually change as sometimes the blend transition might not be too smooth. So you want to increase this time. For example, from 0.2 to 0.5 means it will take 0.5 seconds to blend between the different animations. So it will take 0.5 seconds to blend into this animation. So again, if you've maybe got it to be quite a sharp transition, increase this here and that will help smooth that out and look a lot better. And then you can just do that for all of the animations which you have. So you can just add them all in here, change all of these values to what you want. I'm just going to leave them all as default, but I have gone over and covered them all so you know what they all mean and what they all do. And the final thing on here is you can see we also have shuffle mode here. If we tick that, this means it's going to play them in a completely random order. Whereas if it's not on shuffle, it's just going to play them one by one like this. So I like to have it be shuffle because otherwise it still looks repetitive. The whole reason why I'm doing this is to make it not be a repetitive idle animation. Whereas if it's not shuffling, it will still be repetitive, just longer. So now I want it to be shuffled instead. So it could go 0, 3, 1, 4, 2, and then it start again at 1, 4, 0, 2, 3, for example. So it just go through them in a random shuffle order. You also know what shuffle means. 
and that is all we need to do. This will now allow us to have a random idle animation playing. If I had to hit compile, it's just going to play a random one. Again, really sorry that it looks absolutely terrible here. This is just because of how quickly I've had to do it and the animations I'm using and the characters and the bones and the skeletons and all of that stuff. But again, we're not focusing on what this looks like physically, we're just focusing on the functionality of it and how it works. And you can see that this is going to work. If I had to close this and hit play, we're going to have this animation playing. So if I were to run around for a bit, you can see that if I then stop, we're going to play a different animation. Again, it looks terrible. I'm really sorry about that. But if we were to move about once again, it's just going to keep changing every time we're in an idle animation. And then also once it exits this animation, it will enter a new one at random too, as you can see perfectly there. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. What we've done is we've set up a random idle animation so it's going to play different animations all the time in a shuffle mode and obviously the more you have the better it will look but you really don't need that many for it to look nice. You could just use two just have a normal idle one and then one where it looks around and have it just play them differently so obviously you're going to play the main one a lot more and have a higher chance of it but the other one will still play every now and then as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.